for people who struggle with people pleasing, um, it usually, it can come from many different places, but the, the place that I see it the most is it's a learned behavior from when we were children. You know, we were taught early, early on that if you want to be a good girl, if you want to be a good boy, if you want to be seen as a good person, this is what you should do. You should do what I say. You should, you know, behave. You should not speak when other people are speaking. You should give money even if you don't want to, you know, and it comes from that validation. When we do the good thing, the good thing, then the person says, that makes me so happy for lack of a better, you know, term of Mm -hmm. what they say. They say that makes me so happy. And then you feel good for making them happy. And it creates this cycle and we go into another relationship and we are looking again in all of our relationships for that validation that we are good because good has now translated to I'm safe. They love me. They need me. And we continue that cycle until, you know, and some people are st- continue it for life. But for those of us who go, go into healing, we realize I don't have as much to give as I'm showing I have to give. I don't have as much to give as I'm sharing. And this is the hard part for people pleasers is that when they say no, a lot of those relationships end because the relationship was literally built on the fact that you were going to give and they were going to be able to get whatever they want without having to give to you. And I think that's the hardest thing for recovering people pleasers is learning that the people in their lives, they may care about them, but the relationship was built on their overgiving. It was never built on the mutual love and respect they thought they had. Yes. Mm -hmm. The reciprocity was never there. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, and, and learning those new ways of being in relationship and finding those new relationships or reforming old relationships to have a more equal balance is a forever thing. I, I always like to tell people like there is no such thing necessarily as I've done that lesson. I'm healed. I'm moving on. It's like, yes, you may heal certain things and you may also have to revisit them later on. You know, we're on this healing journey for life as we meet different people and we have different experiences. 